Stoicism is a way of living that prioritizes happiness, minimizes stress, and aids in the development of admirable traits. Stoicism offers a foundation for flourishing in any given moment, regardless of circumstances or life stage. It serves as a gentle reminder of what's actually worthwhile in life, while also offering actionable advice for acquiring more of that which is most important. The tenets of Stoicism were written with the intention of being accessible, practical, and useful. Neither daily meditation nor familiarity with a foreign philosophical terminology are prerequisites for Stoic practice. Instead, it provides a quick, helpful, and straightforward approach to achieving peace of mind and bolstering one's best traits. These are the objectives that motivated the writing of this manual. The business community, the sports world, and the political arena are all experiencing a rebirth in interest in Stoicism. Read on if you're curious about Stoicism or want to find the solutions to some of life's biggest issues. Give us your feedback in the remarks section. Stoicism is a philosophical tradition with its roots in the early 3rd century BC in both Greece and Rome. Not forgetting how much people's ideas have changed since then is crucial. The main goal of the people was to stay alive, not to have a happy one. They were consequently more prone to arrange their mental processes, choices, and actions so as to maximize their happiness. One of the most critical points to remember is that people didn't always think that material success would bring them contentment. Individuals were desperate to know the secrets of developing a superior soul. One of the most well-known schools of thought during this time was Stoicism, popular because its proponents offered convincing solutions to common problems such as worry, stress, and even the existential issue. What do I want out of life? The Stoics provided a framework for navigating the difficulties of being human. Their final response to these concerns was as follows. Being a good person would bring me the lasting joy and peace of mind I want. Example. Putting greater emphasis on deeds rather than words is one way to develop moral fiber. In a nutshell, good actions lead to better results in life. As you can expect, unfavorable actions led to more difficult ones. Ultimately, Stoicism was an ancient system of thought that advocated for a specific way of life. Its primary emphasis was on practicing virtue in order to increase one's level of contentment and decrease their level of distress. Famous people throughout history, like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Arianna Huffington, Tom Brady, Tim Ferriss, and more, attest to its worth. While the origins of Stoicism may lie in antiquity, the methods it advocates remain just as applicable today as they were then. So who were the Stoics? Only a small group of philosophers contributed to the development of Stoicism. In this part, you will learn about some of the most well-known Stoics and the contributions they made to Stoic thought. Marcus Aurelius was a historical figure of great significance. During his 20 years at the helm, the Roman Empire grew to become one of history's most powerful and widespread states. Despite the fact that he had absolute authority and could do as he wanted, the Emperor Aurelius was a devout follower of Stoicism. He chronicled his daily struggles to be a self-controlled, enlightened, and moral person in the notebook he kept. Though he first penned them only for himself, his meditations were eventually discovered, compiled, and made public. The anthology has now gained recognition as a seminal work in the history of Stoicism. His works give us a first-hand glimpse into the mind of a devout Stoic, and he is a fantastic role model for how to apply Stoic principles to everyday life. Seneca. Lucius Aeneas Seneca had the charisma and eloquence of a statesman as well as the dramatic flair of a playwright and the literary skill of a writer. His publications are among the finest ways for newcomers to Stoicism to get acquainted with the philosophy because of his clear, engaging, and memorable style of exposition. Seneca's uniquely realistic analyses of themes like friendship, mortality, benevolence, and the appropriate use of time make his ideas accessible to modern audiences. Here is your chance to read Letters from a Stoic, one of Seneca's most well-known works. See why the Tao of Seneca is one of Tim Ferriss's favorite books by listening to this audiobook. Zeno of Sidium. Zeno of Sidium was the originator of Stoicism. After being shipwrecked near Athens, he made the most of his situation by immersing himself in the city's plethora of philosophical materials. He attended classes on competing philosophical tenets, such as cynicism and epicureanism, before developing his own. The term, Stoicism, was derived from the Greek word for porch, stos, where he would lecture his philosophy on the Stoa poikil, a famously decorated porch in Athens. 
One of the most analytical thinkers in Stoicism was formerly a slave named Epictetus. For a down-to-earth look at how to put Stoicism into practice, go no further than Epictetus's Enchiridion. He excelled in articulating the benefits of Stoic practices and presenting a convincing argument for why one might choose to adopt them as a life philosophy. A lot of his ideas have become commonplace without anyone realizing it was him who first said them. One of his guiding ideas is reflected in the words of the Serenity Prayer, which read, God grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. 